nursing is a calling, a passion driven by one's dedication to make a difference. Nurses answered the call in the beginning of the pandemic and showed us what it means to be a selfless warrior. During this National Nurses Week, we reflect on the sacrifices made by our Colorado nurses and say thank you. So my family and I decided that because of the high risk of the work that I do, that I was going to live away from them. To take care of COVID-19 patients in the early days of the pandemic, Jacqueline DeHart, the Associate Chief Nurse at the Medical Center of Aurora, made the difficult decision to live in a hotel for two months, away from her husband and three young kids. When I was able and when the kids weren't already asleep, I would drive by and sit in my car and watch them from the porch. Um, and they would make me cards and send me encouragement. My husband would cook dinner for me sometimes, leave it on the porch, and I would take it back to the hotel with me. Isolation, grief, exhaustion. Nurses felt it, and when visitors weren't allowed to be with dying patients, nurses were there at the darkest hour. You would see the nurses carry these burdens for these families and these patients, and um, that really affected my heart significantly. And as much as I tried to balance them and their efforts, I was absolutely also trying to um, kind of shoulder that burden for them so that they weren't alone in it. Also a mother and a nurse, Laura Ann Cleveland balanced working 80 plus hours a week, seven days a week at the hospital while juggling online learning at home. We're more resilient than we think we are. And that I saw every day. That strength captured in art. There was so much sadness that we felt. Painted by Cam Karakusis, an ICU nurse at Swedish Medical Center. There was so many people that needed help and there's a lot of people that we just couldn't save and it was devastating. Nurses relied on each other to dig deep and keep pushing. Even through the difficult year that 2020 brought, they do it all over again because that's what warriors do. Even without all of that, if I had to live last year the exact same way, living away from my family, I would do it all over again because I really see it as a way that I could serve my team and my patients and the community. I mean, nurses are truly incredible people. This Mile High Morning, we want you to honor the warrior nurses in your life. Share their names, their pictures. Let us know what they mean to you in your life. Use the hashtag Mile High Mornings on social media, or you can text us the numbers on your screen, 303-871-1491. Carla shared this photo with us. She wants to shout out her coworkers at Sky Ridge Surgery Center. She says, it's an honor to work with each and every one of you, adding every day I watch our nurses go above and beyond. You rock. I love this photo. For me, Jade and Mary Jo were my angels during chemo in 2017. I will never forget the love and care that they gave me during so much uncertainty of cancer. When Jade walked in, I mean, her face lit up and her smile brightened up the room and I was so scared, quite frankly, and I just knew in that moment that there are some people made to be nurses and caretakers and that's Jade. She just made all my troubles go away. Yeah, it takes a special person, mm -hmm. a special heart to be yeah. a nurse for sure. Last hour I talked about the nurses that were part of my labor mm -hmm. journey for both of my kids. I have to give a shout out to Olivia mm -hmm. Kern. She's another nurse mm -hmm. in my life. Olivia uh, had leukemia. She was our first wish kid with Wishes and Heroes. Uh, she went through so much and now now she is a nurse doing the same thing at Children's Hospital, helping pediatric yeah. cancer patients, and she is incredible. And again, it takes a special person to do that job. Yeah. I did a warrior way story on her. Yes. She's, and now she's going to be family, which is crazy. I know. She's engaged to my brother-in-law. She brother asked me, she's like, do you know Corey Rose? I'm like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it all comes for a full yeah. circle. But yeah. yes, huge shout out to our nurses. They are incredible. Oh, yeah. That was a great story. Those and they've sacrificed nurses. so much. Yes. I mean, just listening to that one woman say that she was in the hotel for two months away from her children. And it's just heartbreaking to think like she did that personally to take care of others. Right. It's just, you're right, it's a special person. Yes, huge yeah. sacrifices.